Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. A teacher writes six words on the board. Cat, dog, has, max, dim, and tag. The teacher hands a piece of paper to Albert, another piece of paper to Bernard, and another piece of paper to Cheryl. The teacher announces that each paper contains a different letter from one of the words on the board. The teacher asks aloud, Albert, do you know the word? Albert replies, yes, he does know the word. The teacher then asks aloud, Bernard, do you know the word? Bernard, after a moment of thinking, replies, yes, he also knows the word. The teacher then asks if Cheryl knows the word, and Cheryl, after a moment of thinking, also replies, yes, she also knows the word. Albert Bernard and Cheryl always ace their logic exams. What is the secret word that their three letters spell? Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. We're going to analyze the letters in each of the words in relation to the responses that Albert, Bernard, and Cheryl give. The teacher first asks if Albert knows the word, and he responds that he does know the word. This means that Albert's letter can uniquely identify a word. In other words, the frequency of the letter that he got is exactly one. For example, consider if Albert had gotten the letter C. The letter C only appears in the word cat. So if Albert had gotten the letter C, he would be able to figure out that the word is cat. In contrast, suppose Albert had gotten the letter A. Well, the letter A appears in multiple words, so there would have been no way for Albert to figure out which word was the word that they got. Since Albert replied he was able to identify the word, that means he did not get the letter A. So we need to find out which letters appear exactly once in this list of word. We can go through all of the words and we can figure out which of these letters uniquely appear one time in this list. These are the letters C, O, H or S, X, and the letter I. Notice in the word tag, the letters T, A, and G all appear multiple times in this list. So since Albert replied that he could identify the word, that means he didn't have any of these letters. The word cannot be tagged. The teacher then asks Bernard if he knows the word. Bernard, after a moment of thinking, also replies yes. So Bernard has heard Albert's answer and wants to continue the logic. So from this list of words and the letters that are remaining, Bernard would be able to uniquely identify which word they all had. So we go through this list. It could be the letter T. It could be the letter G. It could be the letter H if Albert had gotten the letter S. Also, it could have been the letter S if Albert had gotten the letter H. These are the possible choices. The other letters appear more than once in this list of remaining letters that Bernard could have gotten. What this means is that the word could not be max or dim. So we can eliminate those words. Now Cheryl, who has heard all of these, is then asked if she knows the word. She looks at her letter and thinks about what Albert and Bernard had said and also says, yes, I can figure out what the word is. So continuing the logic, one of the remaining letters has to uniquely identify the word. Well, there are only two letters left. 
There's the letter A and there's the letter D. The only unique letter left is the letter D because the letter A appears in both the words cat and has. So Cheryl must have gotten the letter D and it could not have been the words cat or has. The secret word is dog. Albert would have gotten the letter O, Bernard would have gotten the letter G, and Cheryl would have gotten the letter D. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Press Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.